All right, what's going on, you guys? Brian here with my quick AEW Double or Nothing recap, um, breaking down everything that happened tonight or at Double or Nothing. Um, before I begin, my condolences. I would like to send my condolences to the family of Hana Kamura, a Japanese wrestler who passed away at the age of 22. Um, I'm not even going to get into the circumstances concerning her death. Um, it is a sad situation, to say the very least. Um, so my condolences, my thoughts, and, her, and prayers are with the family and friends and fans of her. Um, getting into the Double or Nothing uh, event, to, um, we started off with the buy-in. We saw the best friends defeating Private Party. Um, was a good match. There were two occasions where they kind of messed up a little bit, but it was a good match, and the best friends are now the number one contenders. Uh, we had the casino ladder match where nine participants entered, and one would earn a shot at the AEW World Championship, and that was won by the debuting Brian Cage, who is apparently managed by Taz, or will be managed by Taz. So though that was very interesting. Uh, MJF defeated Jungle Boy in a good matchup. Uh, Cody defeated Lance Archer to become the first ever TNT champion. Uh, so big congratulations go out to Cody. Uh, Chris Statlander defeated Penelope Ford, who was replacing the injured Britt Baker. Um, Britt Baker will be on Dynamite uh, this Wednesday to um, inform the entire world when she'll be back or when she'll return to in-ring competition. Um, Dustin Rhodes uh, defeated Sean Spears. Uh, one, of the most, one of the most funny moments of this match was when Sean Spears got uh, dis, uh, disrobed, he got his shirt ripped off of him, he got his pants ripped off of him. He had a picture of Tully Blanchard on the front of his underwear. Um, and uh, on commentary, they kind of made fun of, of that, saying that oh, there's a lot of it, there's going to be a lot of explaining to do with that. So that was pretty funny. Uh, Hikaru Shida is your new AEW Women's World Champion. She defeated Nyla Rose in a no disqualification, no count out match to win the championship. Um, I thought this was a really good matchup as well. I kind of, I kind of, for what it was, um, I kind of had my doubts that these two were going to be able to put on a good match, but I thought it was really good, being it was no disqualification, no count outs. Uh, John Moxley retained the AEW World Championship, defeating Mr. Brody Lee. Um, a barbaric match um, that ended with uh, the match didn't end uh, with John Moxley hitting uh, the paradigm shift on Brody Lee, and they and they both went through the stage in front of the ring. It ended with uh, them both getting back in the ring. Brody Lee is was Brody Lee was busted open, um, and Moxley hit another paradigm shift, and Brody Lee kicked out at one, and he Moxley realized, okay, I got I, I can't do that. That's not going to keep him down. So he he locked in a sleeper hold, and be, the blood was just coming out of Brody Lee. And he would passed out, and that was enough for Moxley to retain the championship. Then we get to the main event, where it was Matt Hardy and the and the Elite defeating Chris Jericho and the Inner Circle in a Stadium Stampede match that happened at the TIAA Bank Fields or Banks Field. Uh, apparently, this match was taped yesterday. Or on Friday, because I'm, this video is going to be up on a, technically a Sunday morning. So, um, 
And it did not disappoint. It really did not. I mean, they had, since it was on a football field, they basically came out like like you would see in the in, in football, each person getting enter, uh, enter, are introduced individually. And then after that, the referee uh, uh, called for the whistle. And the match was on after that. Uh, they were fighting all over. Uh, Hangman, Hangman Adam Page, when he made, when he didn't enter with the t with his team, however, he did come out on the field uh, riding a horse, and wound up giving chase to Sammy Guevara. And poor Sammy, man, I mean, he he's been really getting the the brunt of everything the last couple of weeks. Uh, we kind of seen a replay of a of what happened when. Guevara and Jericho fought Hardy and Matt Hardy and Kenny Omega in a, in a street fight, I believe it was, a few weeks ago on Dynamite, where Hardy and Kenny chased Sammy in a golf cart. That was near the end of the match. Guevara was like celebrating like he won because he was the last one standing, and then all of a sudden he just turns around and he sees Hardy and... Uh, Omega in the golf cart, and they chase after him. He would wind up getting on top of like the um, near the near the, in the stands, on top of like I think it was like the VIP, like, not VIP, but like the uh, guest box or whatever it is. Um, and he would wind up being the one that loses the match, lost the match for his team when Omega hit the one winged angel off of there. And drove him through uh, tables and stuff that was set up on the bottom. And that was enough for the Elite and Matt Hardy to pick up the win. Other parts about this match. We saw Matt Hardy transform from Broken Matt Hardy to Matt Hardy version 1. To another version of Matt Hardy when he was with the Hardy Boys. And they even went as far as to when they, he transformed into version one, they even had the, because uh, or Santana and Ortiz were like drowning him in, a, in the pool in the stadium. And it was like they would cut to Matt Hardy like saying, you know, giving the thumbs up. And then all of a sudden you would see on the, the graphic saying, Matt Hardy can hold his breath for more than 34 seconds. And then it was like, you see Santana and Ortiz looking at like, wait a minute. Huh? Um, pretty entertaining match. Um, there were other parts about this match that I cannot, I'm, I can't remember. And there was another part that I thought was really funny when Hager and um, Hangman were fighting at the bar. And then Omega got involved. And then when they took out Hager... They like had like a drink together, and uh, Hangman had the alcohol, and then uh, Omega had a had Hangman pour him a glass of milk, which I thought was pretty funny. Uh, if you did, if you guys did not see this match, please I would recommend checking this match out because this was a really entertaining matchup. So in the end, Matt Hardy and the Elite defeated the Inner Circle. Uh, all in all, I thought this was a really good paper, a uh, really good event. Uh, hats off to AEW for delivering again on this one. Uh, I mean, from top to bottom, I thought it was a really good show. So, with that being said, this has been my AEW Double or Nothing event recap. As always, I am Brian, and thank you for watching.